You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 18th. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapter 9, Ezekiel chapter 44 and John chapter 11. And our thought is, if you believed you would see. Our first reading, 2 Chronicles chapter 9, is about the visit of the Queen of Sheba to Solomon. She felt the need to check out the report she had heard about his fame and his glory to be believed. Verse 1. When she sees it, she declares, Behold, half the greatness of your wisdom was not told me. Verse 6. And in reading the description, we can see this as a small foretaste of the glories that will be seen in Christ's kingdom. Then in Ezekiel, we read his vision of the future temple. The prophet looked, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the temple of the Lord, and I fell on my face, he says in verse 4. Again, a picture of seeing glory, the glory to come, overwhelming glory. Finally, our reading in John chapter 11, however, causes us to consider what things amount to spiritual glory. It is so different to what we see as glory today. What a contrast between God's glory and man's. And what is God's glory? We read in chapter 11 of Jesus coming to Bethany, which it seems he had often visited. He had received a message. He whom you love is ill. Jesus had a special relationship with Mary, Martha and Lazarus who lived there. But Lazarus had been ill and had died before Jesus arrived. He had been in the tomb for four days, and his sister Mary, when she saw him, fell at his feet, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Verse 32. Jesus asks, Where have you laid him? Verse 34. They come to the tomb, and Jesus said, Take away the stone. And Martha questions this, saying, Lord, by this time there will be an odour, for he has been dead four days. We read in verse 39. How awesome is his response. Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? Verse 40. And this causes us to ponder the awesome nature of things that give glory to God. At the start of the chapter, when Jesus first heard of Lazarus being ill, Jesus said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Verse 4. Do we really believe? Do we show this by the way we talk and live? If we do, then in our humble way, in this godless world, we will be giving glory to God. And what glory is soon to come? For God, in the wonder of the resurrection at his son's return, how soon now? Well, with that wonderful vision, we thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, the living, glorious Word knowing that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. 
don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at btf at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.